boom good morning guys this is nachiket and i am at mahabalipur as you as you already know uh, on the backdrop of uh, this beautiful temple i am trying to uh, give you one question to all the mechanical engineers which training institute or how you are going to choose a training institute for mechanical engineering courses uh, the reason behind this video is uh, in the game changers festival we were trying to address an issue that how we are going to make this training and coaching industry more sustainable more true and more to depth of our hearts so this is something which is in line with that and uh, i'm i'm going more, more specific now with mechanical engineering institutes now first of all why you need a mechanical engineering institute that's a big question and we all know why we need it we are looking for jobs and we are not skillful that is what is the current situation of mechanical engineers so where are the skills required so the skills are required in every stage of any organization the first uh, important thing is uh, the sales department okay uh, which is a revenue generation department ideally so this sales department is supposed to generate revenues and it needs technical sales people so take an example of a company who manufactures boilers like thermax like forbes marshall like uh, uh, backpack wilcox all these companies required boilers to uh, boilers uh, manufacturers boiler manufacturers and they need technical people to sell their product and when i when i say sell it's not like a, a door to door sell it's going to be a b to b transaction so you must have understood that b to b is nothing but business to business so we are supposed to have some skills related to sales so that is one area the other area is technical marketing now this may or may not be too much of a relevance to the technical stuff but still it needs a lot of technical details in marketing what is the target market uh, whether we are focusing on b2b whether we are focusing on b2c all these things we are supposed to understand the next department is operations of course and there we need lot of skills so when it comes to operation there is research and development uh, there is the regular functions uh, like if you are supposed to manufacture something you are manufacturing something then it is going to be an important aspect so uh, next comes the hr department which is not a very technical department and uh, then it can be taken care by the other people so this skill lie most of the 70% of the skills which are required uh, or to be acquired by a mechanical engineer are going to be in the uh, operations department and uh, this operation department is more or less dependent on r&d because otherwise the company will be obsolete so we have to make sure that we acquire lot of skills through correct guidance of the mentors and the mentors are not available i'm very sad to say this but mentors are not available in the educational world or in the uh, college world uh, there are very few colleges who, who are actually having on board the technical guys who worked for more than 15 20 years in an actual company positioned themselves as either head of departments or something like that i was very fortunate to have my hod uh, uh, mr utpat sir uh, back in my college days as my hod who was having some 25 years of experience in tata motors so something which is missing right now is about the technical hand holding abilities and you are supposed to look forward for a trainer for a coach who is actually having some or the other technical skill in a vast way for more than 10 years more than 15 years then only he is qualified as a coach so yesterday uh, when i posted this on a uh, on a linkedin one of my friend asked me there has to be some qualification criteria for the uh, technical coaches and i think uh, the technical coach criteria uh, has to be decided by the market where because there cannot be a certification it's an open world it's an open market so the students must choose very carefully they must ask for a detailed understanding or detailed curriculum they must ask for which role this institute is going what role this institute is going to play in my career development and whether they are going to assist me in placements so this is something which is uh, which i wanted to address largely so just summing it up you have to make sure that which department uh, you are going to choose either sales or the r&d or the operations regular operations but 
it can be anything see the sales department is uh, is like an unstoppable growth okay so if you get a clear understanding about sales i think uh, the sky is the limit because you can earn as much money as as possible it's not going to be year on year like that there are perks there are incentives there are connections everything happens so i think this is something which is extremely important for us uh, to understand that which department we are supposed to we are actually targeting and this you should start from second year third year of engineering while you are understanding what is exactly mechanical engineering right so people just blindly say i want to go into r and d but they don't have their uh, uh, their skills aligned and they are desperate to go into the research and development department which becomes another mess okay so i will uh, uh, i will give you some tips the first important tip is write down what all departments you can serve as a mechanical engineer that is the first step the second step is try to discuss with your friends what do you think i have as an ability to suit into that particular department and the third important step is choose a right technical institute apart from your colleges because they are not going to accelerate your career so make sure i'm not blaming them i'm just uh, giving you the facts so make sure that you choose a technical uh, training institute on the basis of what are your likings and whether your likings are matching to the skill who is going to train okay so thanks a lot guys uh, very happy uh, morning and have a nice day uh, ahead i will be moving to chennai to meet some of my uh, uh, some of my students and uh, uh, see you soon thanks a lot bye